G3600 has been a product that's been designed since its inception for the gas compression business. It's been focused on that application and actually perfected to be the best gas compression product it can possibly be. So you know that 3600s uh, that we have maintain the highest reliability out of any engines that we have in the company, uh, 99 plus percent run times. We're a company that's it's really about uh, reliability because our customers are, are typically producers and we're following them in the gas patch and, and if we're not following their gas, they're not making any money and we're not making any money, so reliability is, is probably the utmost concern that we have. 3600 today is a product in the market that has the lowest owning and operating costs, which makes it very attractive to customers in gas compression applications. If you're looking at first cost, you're, you're looking short-sighted. It's, it's all about total life cycle cost and with our fleet, you know, the size of fleet we have, we know what it costs to run, to run our engines and uh, we know that, that uh, the third 600 series has, a, has one of our lower life cycle costs of our engine lines. And you're always driven to, to do things more efficiently so that you, you drive equipment to the edge of its capability and you, you, find, you find those limits. But when you find those limits, that's whenever we, we find ways to fix those, those issues, to, to not be on the edge of that limit, because we know customers don't want to live on the edge. They want to live right in the middle where the engine runs all the time. We're in the final process of upgrading all of our 3600s to that and three control system. We've seen a, a significant increase in, in reliability and taken a little bit of the, the complexity out of it and made it a little bit more user-friendly control system. Uh, these units with these controls, we're able to go in and reprogram uh, a flash card inside of this Atom 3 controller and we're able to achieve half a gram of NOx. The connecting rod bolt has been an issue for us here lately, but the changes we've made have come to further enhance the reliability of that product. So we believe with the new fastening system, we have some new technology on stretching the bolts, that we will generate a much more robust product than we've ever had before. The cost of an engine down is very, very high to a customer, and we can't afford to let that happen. So the dealers are skilled and trained to make sure they minimize downtime for our customers. We have you know, all the parts and service available locally through our, through our local CAT dealer, and then of course we we perform all of our own preventive maintenance and, and, uh, and uh, predictive condition-based analysis as well. Our Caterpillars get really good runtime in between service. Uh, most of our downtime is scheduled maintenance, which is very, very good. Our runtime percentage is somewhere around 99%. I mean, we have 80 million operating hours on 3600 right now. Uh, we have over 125 engines that have gone over 100,000 hours. So for a large engine like this, there's, there's no parallel and there's no way that customers would keep buying if we didn't have high reliability. Our, our engine that has most hours on it right now has got over 125,000 hours on it and we've yet to do a, a major overhaul on it. And you know, we're getting approximately 30,000 hour head life out of the engines, which is, which is very good. Bottom line is that Caterpillar engines help energy transfer to become one of the largest uh, pipeline companies in, in the country. We have the experience, we have the parts available, we have trained technicians. The engine's going to run for them. It, it, there's no question. It, it's going to get the job done. It, it, there's just not a better engine in the world.